Today's video will highlight the further improvement of a chain line 1 by 11 Shimano chain line where as a front ring we have a 28 tooth ring from garbarook.com that has 47.1 millimeter chain line on the regular cranks so that's the, the chain line and that's the website they they manufacture the uh, many different front rings for different interfaces Cannondale, Hologram, Holotech, uh, SRAM, RaceFace and they have several uh, different tooth combinations so 26 and 28 tooth have 47.1 millimeter chain line it, it, it uh, goes uh, higher for 30, 32, and 34. So, in addition to that, if you remember, we had the race phase, uh, race phase uh, turbine cranks. And now I just got a race phase Atlas cranks. And Atlas, Atlas has a further improvement in the chain line. They give you a 2.5 millimeter better chain line than turbine. And that is being confirmed uh, by their customer service and also on the web. So if you uh, want to improve your chain line on any bike, uh, search Google for Race Face Atlas chain line. And the first document right here will come up says race face uh, cinch cranks q factors and chain lines so then you download this document which is a pdf okay and then we zoom in right here so chain line here is in the third column okay so uh, turbine which i had before um, 57.5 that's the uh, best chain line uh, which was further improved by the garbarook.com uh, oval chain ring that gave you 47.1 right and now we go move to add to the atlas atlas cinch okay and you can tell it's 48 48.5 so in combination with the Garbaru ring I'm curious that's gonna be probably almost uh, 10 millimeter improvement and right now we're gonna go down to the basement install it and see how it looks in real life so this is turbine cinch okay this is uh, 26 26 or uh, 28 tooth garbarook.com ring with a 47.1 millimeter chain line this is the ukrainian website and this is shimano 1 by 11 so as you can tell as you can tell when when we when we pedal backwards, the chain doesn't fall away. I mean, it does fall eventually, but it, you, you can do maybe half a turn and it doesn't fall, then starts falling off. The chain line, the chain line is not ideal. See how it goes? You can tell like, I guess from here, you can tell that it's 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 far from perfect just like on any other any other bike basically these days the chain lines are bad so the only way to improve it the only way to improve it is either go expensive SRAM Eagle but I like I like Shimano so the only way to improve it is to move the, the front ring as far to the frame as possible and here we're gonna measure it with the caliper okay so 
we have right now seven seven eight point one millimeter between the the pivot and the tooth eight even eight point six like if, if we measure it right here okay eight point six so we we got the atlas cranks now from eBay they're used slightly used but in really good shape I mean practically brand new a um, little bit of rub here that's about it so we're gonna install it and you remember it's 8.6 when we're gonna I'm gonna mount the front ring on that and install it back and then we'll see how it works as it is right now it eventually it falls down you see so it's not not as bad as it was before on the regular race face uh, 32 th th that 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 one was major okay so we installed atlas cranks 175 millimeters installed the ring uh, torque it down to 37 newton meters as it says in the manual okay now now let's see if you remember with the race face turbines which are here we could only get maybe half a turn or maybe quarter turn without chain falling down from the high the largest 42 cog in the back now you gotta really try hard to rotate it maybe quicker so it falls down this is very important when you grinding up hill you stop in some kind of rock garden somewhere and then you're trying to get it going again you're doing half a turn back and your chain falls down so now it doesn't fall down so there's additional 2.5 millimeter further chain line improvements unfortunately my caliper just battery just died and I wasn't able to measure it but I mean regardless right you can you can tell the chain is kind of trying to get off here but it doesn't it doesn't fall so that's how you improve the chain line for one by components with Shimano make sure you get the Garbaruk front ring and race face atlas cranks I'll put the description into YouTube uh, in a video description so that's all folks thanks for asking if you have any other further questions or comments feel free to post them into the comment section thank you bye